It is so awful. Most of our people originate from Nineveh, which is Mosul. And they come from there because that's really where our faith started. It started with a miserable evangelist who came over in a submarine one day. And his name was Jonah. And then another miserable person came. His name was Dalton Thomas. And he converted the Assyrians to being the followers of Yeshua. Things were bad in Baghdad, and there were bombs and shootings, and our people were being killed. So, so many of our people fled from Baghdad back to Nineveh, their traditional homes. It was safer. Mm. And then one day, ISIS, the Islamic State, the Islamic Caliphate of Iraq, and the Levantine, or in Syria. They came in and they hounded all of them out. Not some, all of them. And they killed huge numbers. They chopped their children in half, they chopped their heads off. And they moved north. And it was just so terrible what happened. And 200 of our people are still displaced. 250,000 of our people are still displaced in the north. We used to have one and a half million Christians in Iraq. But now, do you know where the biggest Iraqi Christian community in the world is? Where is it? Chicago. So they have been fleeing over the years. And things have got so bad in Iraq. They came to one of our people the other day, one of the Christians. Two days, two stories. And they said to one man, an adult, they said, either you say the words of converting to Islam or we kill all your children. He was desperate. He said the words. And then he phoned me, Abuna, Abuna, I said the words. Does that mean Yeshua doesn't love me anymore? I've always loved Yeshua, but I said those words because I couldn't see my children be killed. I said, Elias, no, Jesus still loves you. He will always love you. A few days later, another story of some of our young people. Isis turned up and they said to the children, you say the words that you will follow Muhammad. And the children, all under 15, for them, they said, no, we love you, sir. We have always loved you, sir. We have always followed you, sir. Your sir has always been with us. They said, say the words. They said, no, we can't. They chopped all their heads off. How do you respond to that? You just cry. They're my children. That's what we have been going through. That's what we are going through. Most of my staff are still in the north of Iraq trying to look after all the displaced people. They were threatening to kill me. They were after me. They wanted that Abuna from England. So the Archbishop of Canterbury said, you've got to leave now. I can't argue with the Archbishop of Canterbury, especially as he used to be my colleague. We used to work together. Mm -hmm. So I'm in Israel now. So he wanted you to get out of Erbil? And, uh, no, he I wanted me to get out of Baghdad. 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 W what is it like? Uh, is it even possible for Christians to live under ISIS right now? And no. 
impossible. Mm -hmm. All of them have had to flee.